Hello and welcome to the France 24 interview. Our guest today is Nasser Khader. He's a former member of parliament from Denmark. He's of Syrian origin and he has been involved in the issue of caricatures of Prophet Muhammad since a first controversy emerged in Denmark precisely a decade ago. He has been a vocal advocate on the issue, founding an organization called Democratic Muslims. As such, he has received a number of death threats and has been a supporter of Charlie Hebdo, the French satirical weekly that was targeted in the Paris terror attacks a couple of days ago. He is one of 23 Muslims who signed an ad published in the New York Times asking what can Muslims do to reclaim their beautiful religion. He's currently a senior fellow at the Hudson Institute, a conservative think tank in Washington, and he joins us live via satellite from Copenhagen. Mr. Hodder, welcome to the show. Thank you very much for having me. Mr. Hodder, you must have watched uh, the reaction through it out uh, the Muslim world to uh, the last cover of uh, Charlie Hebdo. We've seen riots in Pakistan, people uh, killed in uh, Niger, protest in many uh, countries. Uh, do you understand uh, this reaction? No, I don't understand this overreaction. It is so childish to demonstrate uh, this way. Uh, you know, there's a lot of other uh, challenges they have in their homelands. They should go home and uh, give their daughters education instead of uh, using their times to demonstrate against uh, 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 Charles Abdu. Uh, you know, uh, I, I do uh, understand that some people uh, feel hurt that somebody mocking uh, the prophet or his friends. It's okay to write a letter, it's okay to say I don't like it, but to go out and say we will kill uh, those uh, journalists, those who had made these cartoons, that's uh, stupid. It's uh, crazy. Why do so? Uh, you know, uh, as Muslim, we have learned that uh, God is the greatest. Uh, he's so strong, he can uh, defend himself and his uh, prophets. So please let God uh, take care of this. Don't intervene as human being. Uh, this is uh, something very, very bad for uh, Islam when you behave uh, this way. Uh, you must have uh, noticed that indeed uh, many Muslims are hurt by any kind of re representation of the Prophet. Even a poll taken uh, in uh, Western countries showed that uh, you know this is not uh, well uh, accepted. Uh, so uh, do you feel that publications uh, like uh, the ones in Denmark a decade ago or Charlie Hebdo should listen to those voices or that free speech is free speeches and, and the consequences, well, they have to uh, deal with them uh, even if it's tragic. You know, free speech is uh, free speech. Uh, free speech is uh, first. Free speech is very, very central for our democracy. And free speech comes before religion and uh, religions uh, men. Uh, it's very important that we in the uh, Western uh, uh, democracies, liberal societies, that we stand firm uh, and defend our uh, freedom of speech, freedom of expression. Uh, these uh, guys, uh, uh, we have to stop them. We have to say to, uh, to them, uh, 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 that's our value. It's very central for us to defend our uh, freedom of speech. Uh, don't pull uh, your taboo on us. Uh, but the problem is uh, a lot of these guys find the arguments uh, for uh, behave this way uh, in Islam. So we have a problem with uh, some of the uh, uh, you know, the violent part of uh, Islam, we, we have to, uh, you know, we have to get rid of this violent part of uh, Islam. I can ask you, uh, I mean, in, in France in recent days, uh, the president, the prime ministers have all been saying this is not about Islam. We don't have a problem with Islam. We have a problem with radical 
uh, Islam. Do you share that view or do you believe uh, that there is indeed a problem with Islam or at least with the way Islam is being taught or interpreted in uh, many countries, even in Europe? You know, it's also a part of Islam. This is not whole Islam, but it's also a part of Islam. You can't say that this is not uh, Islam because uh, mocking uh, the Prophet uh, is something that's uh, mentioned in the Quran, in, the, in Surah 36. If you uh, don't mock in the Prophet uh, and his Ashab, his friends, and the uh, Islam uh, tradition uh, Sharia has uh, says that uh, you get uh, that penalty if you mock the prophet. So we have to get rid of uh, this, uh, uh, you know, this part uh, in Islam. And people who, uh, you know, those terrorists who uh, did this uh, terror in uh, Paris uh, last week, uh, they uh, they regard themselves as Muslim. Uh, they said some, something that's Muslim, and then they refer uh, to uh, their, uh, you know, to Islam. Uh, and there's a, in, you know, in uh, re religion science, they have a dogma saying the religion is what the religious in this religion uh, are, uh, you know, what, uh, the, uh, how they behave. Uh, so they, this is a part of Islam, but not whole Islam, and that's why uh, we have to. A lot of the passive Muslims, there's a lot of them, they have to join us in this battle uh, in the Muslim house against uh, those who defend the violent part of uh, Islam. You know, the greatest clash is in the Muslim house. And we, uh, democratic uh, Muslims, reform Muslims, we need more support from the majority of the Muslims that's, who are very, very passive. Yes, that, that's my question. Aren't you fighting a very lonely uh, fight? Uh, do you feel that uh, you can convince a sizable amount of the Muslims or do you believe you're really up against a major, major challenge? Because it would seem uh, that not a lot of Muslims would dis define themselves as people who adhere to the values of secularism, for instance, as uh, secularism is an entrenched value here in France. You, you know, it's not an easy fight. Uh, we are a few still, but we, uh, today we are uh, more than we were in 2006. Uh, and I think what's happened in uh, Paris last week Maybe it's a kind of uh, game changer. Uh, I, I received a lot of response from Muslims from all over the world telling me that uh, this is not in my name. I don't want to be part of this. So uh, what, the uh, what, what the, those uh, guys uh, did uh, last week in Paris had, has, in my opinion, activate uh, some passive uh, Muslims, but we need more uh, passive Muslims to join us in this battle because if you want to make a revolution in Islam and if you want to get rid of extremism, uh, uh, then uh, you have to uh, make a revolution and uh, uh, those who have to make this revolution are the Muslims themselves. So. Uh, the West can't uh, fight uh, the extremists, the Islamists, the jihadists alone. Uh, the Muslims have to go f uh, in front and fight these uh, people uh, ideologically, uh, but also, uh, you know, whenever you meet them, you have to uh, fight them, uh, in, uh, you know, uh, and... Uh, push back their arguments. Right, but uh, in the context of rising uh, Islamophobia uh, in, in Europe, is, is this possible? Many Muslims are feeling uh, targeted, stigmatized, and uh, are they going to be up to the challenge that you just described, feeling the way they feel? You know, uh, 
this uh, with the Islamophobia, I, uh, in my opinion, it's very exaggerated. Uh, people uh, don't hate uh, Islam. Uh, they don't like uh, Islamists. Uh, Islamism is a, a, a political ideology uh, that, uh, in my opinion, is uh, like uh, the Nazis, like the fascists. Uh, and it's okay to be uh, in opposition to the Islamists. It's not the same as being in opposition to the religion uh, Islam. Uh, so I don't agree that uh, if you are against, uh, in, if you are in opposition to uh, the Islamists, then you are Islamophobe and you are anti-Islam. Uh, uh, not in my uh, opinion. Uh, so you have to draw a line between uh, Islamism and uh, Islam. It's okay to oppose the, uh, the ideology Islamism, but uh, you have to uh, you have to be uh, you ha uh, but don't uh, blame all the Muslims for uh, the Islamists. Okay, Nasser Hadar, thank you very much uh, for. Uh, answering uh, our questions here on France 24, stay tuned here for more news.